Hello, welcome back to another video of Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance on Operation. In this video, we will specifically discuss about role, duties, and privilege, and I'll show you how you can see the existing element or that means the out of box role, duties, and privileges, and I will explain that from where you need to create the uh, items or the objects. Okay, so as you know that in case of security the user a user cannot directly access any object so uh, the you that particular user need to have the role so one user can one or more than one role and based on the role um, he has some duties so he will assign some duties so it can one role can have uh, multiple duties or one duties and again the duty contains the uh, different types of privileges okay it can contain one or more than one privilege and those privileges actually have the permission to um, he can access one form or not he can edit the record inside the form or not he can uh, delete the record or not so this kind of permission the privilege will contain this kind of permission okay so in dynamics 365 this type of role based security model actually operates in behind the scene so with this role based security access to finance and operations app is not guaranteed to individual users but to a security role to which the user are assigned okay so a user who is assigned to a security role has access to set of privileges okay so why it is like that so as you can see that if one user will be assigned to a particular role so one rule is a role is assigned to a particular user that means he will get uh, several types of privileges right and those privileges will contain the permission so that's why a, a user who is assigned to a security role has the access to set of privileges that is associated with that role if a user is not assigned to a role they are unable to access the finance and uh, finance and operation application okay and before that we already discussed that to access the finance and operation application and the assign to a role a user must have a authenticated Microsoft Entra ID account and that should be associated with that um, with the application okay in finance and operation application the role based security is aligned with the structure of an organization so what does actually mean it means that user are assigned to a security role uh, based on their duty or job responsibility right and depending on the user one role or many role many roles might be assigned roles contains duties and privileges and permission that control the access to system components system component means uh, various types of elements like form reports or data entry mm, uh, like that okay so administrator grants access to the user uh, for the duties that are performed the administrator grants access to the user for the duties that they perform after security roles duties and privileges have been set up business managers can control user access as their business need change okay so now let me go to this particular slide and in this slide you can see that when you create the dynamics 365 items uh, there is a node called security so if you click over here you will get three different types of four different types of items the first one is the role the second one is duty and third one is privilege and fourth one is the policy so we'll discuss about this one by one right so here in finance and operation uh, apps offers many duties okay and privileges and permission out of box so already there are many out of box that means already present in the application you can use those or you can also extend those uh, roles privileges and duties uh, but if needed you can create a new role duty privilege or permission in the visual studio so you have to take the help of the visual studio and then uh, you can go to this menu item and then you can create um, uh, whatever you required okay and you have to give the name and then you can add that particular item so while you manage the security role and finance and operation app we recommended that you have a system administrator uh, access 
it always recommended that you have a system administrator manage roles or modify duties and privilege behind the scene in the visual studio so let's talk about the permission first permission can only be created or modified in the development environment each role has various duties assigned to it so as you can see here uh, this is an example of the role and how how do we know that you can see that in the property section it is talking about the security role and this one is the out of box security role and it has several types of nodes as you can see that privilege is there sub role is there duty is there and the permission is there right so basically you need to assign the duty section you have to create the duty and then you can assign due to to this particular section in this particular node as well as you can see directly you can assign the uh, privilege as well but the best practice is to create a duty separately and then you can assign duty uh, to this particular node okay so as you can see here each role has a various duties assigned to it and these are the duties okay and a privilege can be directly assigned to role in this section right but it is best practice to assign a privilege to a duty within each privilege various permissions are assigned so as you can see so this one is the privilege you can see and the privilege is having the entry point you can add various types of menu item in the entry point as well as you can see there is a permission there is a data entry permission and also form control permission so here if you want to give a permission to a data entity then uh, here you have to add a data entity in this section if you want to give a, a specific control to a button control to a person or to a uh, user then you had to give the form control permission over here and from the property section you can select the grant um, insert update or delete this kind of operation uh, you have you can give the permissions okay so this is the sample example of a privilege and within each privilege various permissions are assigned and permission represent the most granular access to the finance and operation application and here as you can see this one is the duty and inside this duty you can uh, see that we can assign various types of privilege right so when you have created a privilege then you can assign those privilege to uh, duty okay so like this way the security um, actually works and in the privilege section you can see that permission represent access to individual uh, securable objects such as menu item um, or a table a privilege are composed of permission and they represent tasks such as a generating or sales order uh, privileges gives the user access to perform a specific action for example one privilege might have read only access to view the record while while another privilege grant the access to create and delete a record now now if we'll talk about the duties here duties are composed of privileges and represent the parts of the business processes such as maintaining a vendor information a single set of role applies across all companies and organizations an administrator no longer must create or maintain separate user group for each company as was the case in the earlier version even though roles are not specific to a company or organization the administrator can control access by specifying a company or organization for a user in a role so i hope now you understood about what is role how it looks like how it is duty and how it looks like in the visual studio as well as how the privilege actually look like so based on your requirement if you want to create uh, new elements uh, new role new duty new privilege then based on your requirement you have to change the nodes that is present inside the privilege or duty or the role okay also if you want to extend the functionality of the out of box uh, role duties then also you can do that you can also extend that as well okay now we already discussed about the security role uh, about the security duty and the privilege now let me talk about the security policy 
so here it is also this also called the permission policy as well the permission policy are used to role based security to grant access to user for a specific purposes so the most common type of security policy uh, originates from a query that is stored in the eot so you have to create a eot um uh, query in a eot and then you can assign in the security policy so a query uh, which is actually specifies the criteria that each row or record must satisfy to uh, be returned by using the ranges okay so you can uh, create the eot and you have to apply the range you have to apply the range uh, in other range node in its data sources and the field node specifies which fields should be returned you can create field security profile to use the permission policies to restrict the access to a certain field after you create the profile you can assign user or teams uh, to that profile and then set up a specific read or write or um, create permission for that for, uh, for the field okay so i hope now you understood the purposes of uh, this types of element in dynamics 365 finance on operation so if you have any specific question regarding this you can ask it and if you want me to create and show you that how to create a new uh, a role a privilege duty then uh, let me know in the comment section i'll create a new separate video and i'll show you with an example I hope uh, this video was helpful. If you have any question, you can ask it in the comment section. Uh, see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.